a lot of uh, conservative commentators say a vote for you is a is a vote for McCain. What do you say to that? Actually, a vote for me is a vote for me, and a vote for Mitt Romney maybe a you know a vote for Hillary Clinton, uh, because the fact is, uh, I've got a far more conservative record than Mitt Romney ever dreamed of having. Um, where people can come up with branding him a conservative is really, I, I think, tantamount to requiring an extraordinary level of imagination. And uh, if they're looking for a conservative, they'll vote for me. And I also point to what I said in the rally today. You know, if, if people are looking for a, a candidate who is able to actually get uh, to the nomination with, uh, with a responsible amount of resources, they're going to go with me. Uh, if you look at how much money Mitt Romney had to spend to come in second place in New Hampshire, second place in Florida, uh, how much he had to win in the state where he grew up and graduated from high school, you know, we, we've seen some of the money that he spent. We don't even know how much he spent in January when all these contests were here. All we know is through December, and it's a staggering amount of money. And I go back to the point that if you're an MBA and running bank capital, and you've got that much investment in something that isn't giving you the return, I know what he did when he ran companies like that. He broke them apart and turned people loose and fired them and, and uh, sold off the companies. So, you know, rather than suggesting that uh, we'd end our operation, I'd say maybe it's time for him to turn out the lights and lock the doors. Kevin? Um, so said he's going to come out and vote for Governor Romney. Mm -hmm. Sir, why do these conservative uh, leaders almost, why are, they, why are they going to Governor Romney's camp and, and not yours and not Senator McCain's? Some suggest that uh, the fact that Bank Capital owns a major stake in Clear Channel that is on uh, Sean's network, that maybe there's a correlation. I don't know. Uh, I can tell you this much, that Duncan Hunter is probably as conservative, if not the single most conservative person that I'm familiar with who actually ran for the presidency, who understands the issues and who understands the other candidates better than people who observe from a distance and read campaign material. Duncan Hunter endorsed me. And nobody questions Duncan Hunter's authenticity as a conservative. Um, you know, people can choose who they want to. They do it for various reasons. And, you know, I can't answer why. Um, but I'll tell you whose endorsement matters to me most. And that's the endorsement of folks like we saw in that rally today. And these aren't people who just sort of mildly from their armchair say, oh, I think I'll go with Huckabee. These are people who drive trucks for a living and uh, they, you know, raise kids. There's a fervor with them, and I'll take their uh, their energy and their fervor and their commitment because you know none of them are looking for an appointment to a federal uh, agency. None of them are looking to be an ambassador. There's none of those folks out there trying to say, "Hey, I want to make sure I'm on the White House uh, Christmas party list." These are people who just love their country, and they've got nothing uh, for themselves in in mind. They have something for their kids in mind. Time for one more question.